Meghan Markle and Prince Harry lock Archie's nanny into extensive privacy agreement. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry relied on the help of the Duchess of Sussex's mother, Doria Ragland, after the birth of their son Archie. But after the grandmother returned to her home in Los Angeles, the Duke and Duchess are now believed to have enlisted the help of a professional nanny to help care for their first child. Royal commentator Katie Nichols claimed the couple forced the newest member of staff to sign an extensive non-disclosure agreement in order to protect their family's privacy. Speaking to E.T., Ebbs Nichols said, I've heard from very reliable sources that the new nanny who has now been appointed by the Sussexes has had to sign quite an extensive non-disclosure agreement. Meghan and Harry are known to be very mindful of their privacy and have kept a tight grip on information about their private lives long before the birth of their son. While the Duchess was expecting her first child, the couple issued a statement informing the public they would celebrate the birth privately and would not adhere to the traditional photo shoot outside of the hospital as Princess Diana and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge did with their children. Despite claiming the couple has now hired a nanny. Ems Nichols insisted the Duchess remained a very hands-on parent, Meghan's been up in the night nursing, feeding on demand every few hours. Apparently, he's a hungry little baby. Earlier this month royal expert Victoria Howard told Express.co.uk the Duke and Duchess of Sussex may opt for a non-traditional nanny to look after their son, Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor. On whether Meghan and Harry will copy Kate and William by choosing a Norland nanny. The royal expert said, no, definitely not. I think they will look for someone who is obviously experienced, but that has more of a rounded attitude towards child rearing. I think they will look for things that will make them aware of mental health perhaps, encouraging creativity and for them to be themselves. So I definitely think it's going to be non-traditional, maybe someone that has been recommended by some of their Hollywood friends perhaps. While it remains unclear whether the couple chose to hire a more traditional nanny to follow in the footsteps of Kate and William, or a Hollywood-style childminder, the new member of the royal household staff may soon join the couple on their visit to Africa later this year. Meghan and Harry will travel to Angola this autumn as part of their Africa tour and will work with a charity close to his mother's heart. Palisades are also exploring the possibility their young son Archie traveling with them to the African nation. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will travel with Archie for at least part of the tour to Africa where they are also expected to go to Malawi to help with Prince Harry's charity, Sintibal. The Duke is said to want to fulfill some of his late mother's work and is keen to spend a prolonged period of time in Africa after visiting the Kwando Kubongo region in Angola in 2013. Princess Diana visited the African country to promote the work of the anti-landmine campaign Mines Advisory Group. The Princess of Wales provoked the fury of British politicians when she called for a global ban on anti-personnel mines, a reaction which left the royal feeling devastated. Commentator Dan Whitten said, Remember Diana was devastated at the time by the fact that she had been accused by politicians in the UK of wading into politics you might remember. She knew she had a big spotlight to shine and she used it to bring attention to the people others had forgotten.